Hello everybody, welcome to 8-Bit Millie. Today, we're going to explore on our Coleco Atom here, the controller. This controller is giving me issues. Occasionally the number pad doesn't work, occasionally the up and down and everything else doesn't work. So we're gonna figure out what's wrong with it. First I'm gonna do some testing, then I'm gonna tear it apart and fix it. First off, let me bring up a little program I wrote on just in Smart Basic, which lets me test the controller. Play some music. You get tired of that real quick. So I'm going to run a program I wrote called Paddle Test. I wanted to use the Clico Adam, or the Clico Visions diagnostic software, but it wants a memory expansion, which I don't have in here. So I'm going to run my own program. It's a quick and dirty basic program I wrote that reads the joystick and gives me a slightly ASCII version of the joystick on the screen. So I can test everything here, just so you can see it. Up, down, left, right, right button or arm, fire, and the numbers. The issue I've been having is sometimes the number pad doesn't work and sometimes the arm doesn't work. Arm is the right button. So, we're going to have to fix that. To do that, we're going to take it all apart and look on the inside. So, let me just reset this back over to here. And before I do that, I want to give you a nice quick little tour of the set here. As you can see behind me, or in front of me, it's an 80s gasm. It's everything 80s. There really isn't a single thing up here that is not either vintage 80 or remade in the 80s image. Frankie says, relax, just keep that in mind. All the albums over there. 80s also, an 80s monitor, an 80s ColecoVision on the monitor. You notice it's playing MTV all the time. But that's the background set. We have a PNC monitor here, 1984. ColecoVision, or Coleco Atom, 1983, wood keyboard. Coleco Disk Drive, 1984, printer, 1984. This is an orphanware serial port I put inside of a box here, 1985, 86. Microphone, new. This right here is an ADE, disc emulator. That I'm only, I'm using this only so I don't have to swap discs back and forth. This is new. It's a prototype that was built by John Lundy for me so I could, he made this and I in exchange with the software that you're seeing on the screen. That's new. I could run all this or most of this off of the disc drive. Anywho, we're gonna take this apart and we're gonna figure out what's wrong with it. Once I get it over to the bench, I remove the five screws on the back pull the shell off to get to the insides. Spray some ipropofol alcohol on it, wipe it down with a Q-tip. Then I take some 400 grit sandpaper and I gently clean the contacts inside of the control so that you get rid of any residue that may be building up with any corrosion. Spray some contact cleaner in the buttons and the contacts. Then I remove the keypad, clean it a little bit with the contact cleaner again. Take a piece of cardboard, lay it down in there to raise the level of the membrane so I can slide it back into the connector without kinking or bending it. Put it all back together. Well, wipe it down first, put it all back together. Clean it with a combination of Windex, isopropyl alcohol, use some lighter fluid on the back to remove some sticky residue. Put it all back together. <laughs>
All right, so we're back. Yeah, let's give it a shot, see what happens. See if she works. Load up the tester. Play the music, dance a little. What song is that? I don't know. Maybe somebody can tell me in the comments what that song is, because I don't know what it is. So let's run my little paddle test program. Let's see what happens. Up, down, left, and right work very nicely, very smoothly. Fire button works. Arm button works. Uh-oh. Keypad don't work. We got a bad connection in there? Do we have a bad keypad or do we have a bad controller? It might be a bad connection. Try to slap test. See if that helps. That didn't help. All right, back to the bench. Frankly, I'm concerned about Kathy's homework. Oh, well, it is kind of messy. Well, Kathy has potential, but her work's disorganized. How about a home computer? Can they help? Lots of kids use Adam. Adam is the only affordable home computer that comes complete with built-in word processing to help edit and correct schoolwork and a typewriter quality printer that puts it neatly on paper. Kathy, Dad and I are getting you an Adam. Adam, the smartest gift you can give your family. All right, so I went back over to the bench. I spared you the watching that because it really isn't that interesting. And I discovered this one is bad. It has a crease in it. It had it when I took it out, but I didn't think anything of it because it was intermittent. But I must have been just right on the edge of working. And then when I took it out, I ruined it or broke it. I might be able to fix it someday. So I put another one in. I tested it just so I didn't look like an idiot again on the video. So here we go. Let's run the program again. Seriously, anybody knows what that music is, let me know. I'd like to know what it is. Do, 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 do. All right. Up, down, left, right, fire, arm. One, yay, two, three. Now you may wonder, why do I care so much about the keypad? Because it kind of sucks. Well, there's a lot of ColecoVision games that require you to press one to start it. I don't know why they did that, because you can just use an Atari joystick too. Anywho. Now that we have a working controller, let's play some video games. <laughs> I'm going to bring up in here, again, as this thing on the screen that you've seen here, this is Adamware, who is me. This is my image manager. It lets me load different di disk images off of the ADE. This software here that says ColecoVision Experience Volume 1 through 6, that's something that I wrote about two years ago. It uses the same interface. It lets you load ColecoVision ROMs. There's about 300 of them in the various ones. See, it brings it up again, same exact interface. It even has pseudo windows. Kind of interesting. See that? Anyways, let's bring up and open up my favorite game to play is Carnival. I used to play Carnival when I was growing up in San Diego when I was like 15, 16. There was a Carnival arcade game down on the pier at one of the ships in the harbor like a cruise but in the place where you bought the tickets there was a carnival game in there and there was also the, I want to say space war where it's two ships fighting each other kind of like um, asteroids but older than that Anywho, this is why you need the keypad because you got to tell it what skill you want skill one because I suck at video games but I like them so yeah you get to pretend you're at the carnival and you don't got the guy with missing teeth and bad breath and hungover talking to you. Trying to get you to waste your money to get a stuffed animal for your wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, significant other, dog, whatever you're doing it for. But yeah, this is carnival. It's fun. You know, the first time I played this game in a long time, which was about a year ago, I'm sitting there shooting away. I'm like playing as if it was Space Invaders or something, and I realized I ran out of bullets, and I died. So, as we can see, we're working. Let's just bring up another game. One last game here. Every time you reset, it reloads this program called boot.disk, which is actually the image manager here. There's another image manager that somebody wrote that's out there. It looks more like the Atom software, but like smart writer and such, but I kind of like the one I wrote. I don't know, maybe it's just because I wrote it, so I like it. 
Anywho, let's find another game in here real quick. I think this one has Galaga in here, or Galaxian, or Galaga something. Galaxian, yeah, right there. Another game I like, Galaga. I love playing Galaga. That's probably one of the only games I can get over 10,000 points on before I die. I have a problem playing video games because when I play video games, I sit there and look at the game and try to figure out how it works. Here we go. Oh, I love the sound of this game. I could play this thing all day, even though I suck. Go, go, go. Anyways, working controller. For the next number of episodes, I'm going to explore other parts about the Atom. I'm going to show you how to fix the encoder wheel that melts on these things. I'm going to show you how to take your printer apart and make it so it's just a power supply instead of a printer. We're going to go online next episode with this here. We're going to explore the internet with the Atom. And we'll do a bunch of other stuff. And I hope you like this. Subscribe, like, click the notifications. Unlike it. Well, is that unlike or dislike? Whatever it takes. Do that. Comment. Let me know what you think. Have a great day. Bye. I anyway, wanted to hop back in real quick and show you something that I should have mentioned earlier. I'm going to open up, uh, open Galaga back up again. Or Galaga, Galaxian back up again. I'm going to show you something in here. Before I, actually, before I start it, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take the controller, I'm going to plug it in number two. And I'm going to take the old standard Atari 2600 joystick. The old knuckle buster, the one that you break these things playing Pac-Man. The original pack of dun 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 bum 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 I grew up with that sound. I'd wake up at 2 in the morning my mother was playing that game. So, I'm going to start Galaxian. What do you mean error? Oh, didn't like me changing things. Start it up again. Maybe didn't like the fact that I plugged something in and wiggled something around. Who knows? Start up. There you go. Get that going. Yeah, now it's loading. But what I did is I plugged the Caligo controller into port 2, and I plugged the 2600 joystick into port 1. Now I can use port 2, and I can press the number 1 button, and I can use the Atari joystick to play. Yeah, things you learn and die. I suck. But I look good sucking. Anyways, I just wanted to show you that. So we're gonna explore this one. First off, let me turn on my, where are you at? All right, now I'm filming with that camera too. Yeah, real simple program. Yeah, makes no sense to anybody, but that's what it is. And thank you for flickering, monitor. Eventually I gotta pull it apart and clean down here. So, I'm going to run it, and don't go breaking on me. This is the first time we're doing a live thing, and you're messing up on me. Stop that. I said stop it. All right, so we're back. Took it all apart. Oh, stop. Break. Okay, so I went back to the bench and discovered that this one is bad. It does seem to have a crease in it, so I think it's ruined. Oh, let's try this again. <laughs> 